Hi, my name is Josh Kuhn, and I'm a professor at the University of Wisconsin-Madison and also at the Mortgage Institute for Research. My research focuses on leveraging mass spectrometry to solve cool problems in biology. So one of the biggest problems in the proteomics area remains how do we detect all of the proteins that are present, characterize all the different versions of them, the, the proteoforms, and quantify that and do it in a reasonable time scale from any type of sample you can imagine. While we're pretty good at detecting whole proteome of a simple organism in a short period of time, for these more complex proteomes, like from the human proteome, it's much more challenging. And therefore, we need instruments that are very sensitive and that are very fast. The Thermoscientific Orbitrap Ascend mass spectrometer is helping our team achieve that goal. So my name is Yu Chen He. Uh, I'm a rising fifth year graduate student uh, working in Professor Josh Kuhn's group at University of Wisconsin-Madison. So my research mainly focused on the integration of multi-omics. So I'm trying to integrate uh, proteomics, lipidomics, and uh, also I hope to integrate metabolomics in the future in a single shot way so we can do them just using a single column, a single LCMS method. So we've been using the Orbitrap tribred architecture since the very first generation, the Fusion. And with that generation, we saw breakthroughs in the speed at which we could analyze proteomes. With the Orbitrap Ascend system, it brings in many new features that are gonna expand what we can do beyond just proteomics and in including studying other compounds like lipids and metabolites. So from the early assessment of the um, a newer generation Orbitrap Ascend uh, mass spectrometer, we observed about 20% boost uh, in terms of uh, identifications and also uh, the number of localized uh, phosphorylation sites. So this um, uh, boost is driven by the faster scan speed. So this instrument is capable to acquire more uh, MS2 uh, spectra of lower abundant species. One of the things that I'm really excited about in the new Orbitrap Ascend mass spectrometer is the softer ion funnel upgrade so that when we put in very fragile molecules, certain peptides, modified peptides, but especially small molecules like lipids, they're not gonna fragment and we'll be able to detect them intact with less complication. Another thing on the Orbitrap Ascend instrument that is really exciting is the new ion routing multiple and how by moving the collision cell forward, the speed of the system has gotten even faster from the last model. So that means that we can scan faster, we can dig deeper in a sample, and we can detect more things in a shorter period of time. The new architecture of the uh, Orbitrap Ascend uh, instrument benefit not only the sensitivity, but also the quality uh, of the spectra we collected. So this shows a promise for a um, more comprehensive and deeper fossil proteomics analysis, as well as the analysis of other post-translational modifications. So I think this is kind of a very cool project to work with. With the increased scan speed and sensitivity of the new system, we're seeing detection of up to 30% more proteins for a given amount of time versus the older generation. So right now, my team is planning experiments where we can actually increase the number of samples that we analyze by 30 to 40% because in the same period of time, instrument time, we can run more samples and we can discover more biology. What we have found in our research is that when we're trying to address a complex biological question, it's really important to be able to measure proteins and lipids and metabolites if you want to understand how everything works together. Most of the time, these analyses are conducted on separate instruments at separate times. We've been generating tools and methods so that you can analyze all three of those compound classes in one LC-MS experiment. The Orbitrap Ascend is really going to accelerate that research because it blends really good performance for lipids and small molecules with outstanding performance for proteomics so that ultimately in our research where we want to have one experiment that measures all of these molecules, this mass spectrometer will perform at the highest level for all three compound classes.